someone who has been taking the bus recently, um, we got to get a better system. I don't know about anywhere else, but at least in, in Sacramento, because why? Why will there be two buses with the same number going completely different fucking places? Is that normal? How does that work? So I'm waiting for the 21 to show up. So all of a sudden I see 21 in front of me. I'm like, oh shit, it is early, right? I get on the 21. And me, I'm one of those people where I gotta have my map open like the whole time that I'm on the bus. So I'm looking at my map and I'm like, huh, why is it that this bus is moving away? From the destination so then i start thinking and i'm like oh shit i must have hopped on the wrong 21. so now i'm sitting here i'm hot i am tired it's my own dumbass fault because i guess i should have looked and i should have saw that 21 was not the 21 that i was supposed to be on but two buses one bus route going in completely different directions that is without a doubt the dumbest thing i've ever heard and she just so happens to be talking about the route 21. i have driven and operated this bus route before Nobody cares. Nobody cares. And this is what the route looks like. See, it's one bus route and it goes in two different directions. So let's talk about that a little bit, okay? Shall we? <laughs> yes. And hopefully this will be helpful. Okay, so here is the bus stop that she was sitting at on the TikTok. See, here's the picture right here. And here's the bus stop. You know, there's a Wendy's, there's a Marshall's, there's a Skechers, and there's a bookstore. So let's take a look at the bus stop. This is where some of the confusion comes in at. She's saying one bus or one route that goes in two completely different directions. Look at the bus stop. You have the route one, which is the route that I was driving when I was filming this, but I wasn't driving. I was on break. So on my break near the Sunrise Mall terminal, I was able to get some really quick B-roll footage right here. But you also have the route 21. Then you have the route 21 again. Then you have the route 23. Why is the route 21 on there twice? That's because the bus goes north to south, but this particular portion of the route the bus stops on the same side of the street which is supposed to be a convenience for people because this is at like a major shopping center even though the sunrise mall is actually kind of like deserted and i think it's going to close down soon but on the other side here there's a whole bunch of stores and restaurants and shops that people can shop at so what's meant to be a convenience for people actually turns into some confusion for some people so this is the area right here you see where it's circled at right by greenback lane and arcadia drive that portion right there the bus only goes in one direction you can see the arrow not the red arrow but the little black arrow right there on the actual map here's a larger view of the map so you can see the entire bus route and you can see on that one portion where it's circled in red the bus goes around in a loop around the sunrise mall terminal it's actually quite typical to have a bus route like this that goes along one route but it goes in both directions northbound and southbound eastbound or westbound there are different variations of bus routes sometimes there will be a bus route that only goes in one direction and you know there's different versions of bus routes but it's pretty typical to see a bus route like this it's one bus route but the bus goes in two directions so depending on what direction you need to travel in that will determine what side of the street you should wait on for the bus so once again taking a closer look at the bus stop signage it says 21 mather field or mather field i've heard people say mather and mather and then you see the other 21 it says lewis and orlando so the thing is depending on which way you need to go from that Sunrise Mall Transit Center if you need to go towards Mather Field or if you need to go towards Lewis and Orlando you will look up on the head sign of the bus and see which 21 it is and that's the 21 that you get on so my best advice for a passenger that's in this particular situation is first pay attention to the head sign is it the 21 going to Lewis and Orlando or is it the 21 going to Mather Field Mills or Mather Field Mather 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 which one is it? Another thing to do will be ask the bus driver, which direction are you traveling in? And the bus driver should be calm, collected, and professional <laughs> and let you know without a problem which direction the bus is going in. Even if the head sign clearly says Lewis and Orlando and you get on and say, hey, are you going towards Lewis and Orlando? They should be like, yes. He ain't lying. And listen, I know within the circle of like bus drivers, sometimes it can be irritating when people ask redundant questions. Like for example, if the head sign says downtown and the person and gets on the bus and says are you going downtown it's like well clearly it's on the sign up there but here's the thing sometimes people just like to confirm that you are going downtown because there are times where the head sign is not displaying the correct information or it's not working those two things have happened to me during my career as a transit bus operator 
Sometimes people are new to the system. They're not accustomed to riding the bus or they're new to the area. So they just want to confirm. I know the sign says downtown, but I'm just confirming, do you go downtown? Just to make sure I'm going in the right direction. So, you know, we have to understand that from the passenger's point of view. So I think it's important. But a lot of times, like in this case, the 21, you see 21, you're like, that's my bus. And you just hop on the bus. But in situations like this, you have to really be paying attention to make sure that you are getting on the correct bus.